Far off in the western region is Kanbunli, located in the heart of the Nlembele district, which has a population of 87,501 according to the 2010 population housing centers. The community has just about 57.7% of its population engaged in skilled agriculture, forestry and fishery work. Only 31% of the population above 12 years use internet facilities with just about 581 households having computers. You apply force. Are you here? Good. So the force you apply to overcome a load is called effort. 10-year-old Lina to Isa has some 30 minutes to midday prayers in the predominantly Muslim community amid the Ramadan fast. The primary five pupil with her pen and books tunes into the community radio where teachers broadcast lessons to students in the area. These lessons are tailored for junior high school students, but Lina too is brilliant enough to comprehend the lessons. A machine is any device that makes work more easy and faster. Type of machines are simple machine and complex machine. She's brimming of ambitions and will not let a ban on opening of schools get in her way. I want to be a doctor in future. A machine is a device by which a small or smaller force is applied at a point to overcome Back in the studio, lessons continue unabated, but Lina too is not the only child in the locality taking advantage of the lessons. Her colleagues clutch and sit close to battery-powered radio sets to make up for the lost contact hours their airband compatriots are getting online. Martin de Perez was pushed into the program by his grandma that recounts his initial reaction to the shutdown of schools. Um, it was like... <laughs> the world has come to an end because when you, are, when you go home and you don't do anything, then you're not going to study. You're not going to study at all. You're going to roam about, work with friends and other things. I don't have a laptop or other devices uh, that we used to study in online studies. I don't have some. My concern was that since I don't have it, I... Uh, I should study with my books. I should study my books. I was at home. Then later, my grandma called my dad that I should hurry up. I sh everything that I'm doing, I should stop and come. So I came and she said, there's a program going on at the radio. So I should sit down and listen. And she gave me papers and pen that I should write whatever is going on. So I started writing it and she said, um, she heard it on the radio that this and this is going on. So I should, I always, I should come to you. So I did it. And she heard the days they are doing it. So she, she told me the days that they will be doing it. So I should come on that date, uh, that days, and showed me the time too. So I, I did that. So how has this helped you in your studies? Because uh, I'm, I'm seeing, even learning, learning alone, I don't feel it like learning when someone is teaching me yes learning alone i don't feel it like when someone is teaching me so if i've gotten um, a school or a classes in the radio then i can i think it will benefit me i'm in form three and what they are teaching starts from form one so i'm re recapping whatever is going on my name is ejableyaka i am 15 years and I'm from Nkrofo. I really felt scared. I didn't know what I was going to do because my BEC was coming up and I was not actually doing well in school. But now that we are not going to school, I was like, how, what am I going to do next? So I was really scared that I was going to fail my BEC. Mm, I don't actually get access to e-learning very much. Sometimes I catch a glimpse of the television, but when I have questions, I can't ask the one on TV, so. It's not, I'm, not, I'm not actually benefiting from it. It has been actually entertaining and very educative too. It has helped me very much. It has educated me on my do's and don'ts at the BEC Hall and also some
topics we have not treated in class and others that we've treated in class, I've polished it and I've had a better understanding. And I'm able to ask questions. Even when I'm not here in the house and I'm listening, I can still ask questions, call and ask questions. So it has helped me a lot. Before you divide the graph, check the, uh, the range given to you. They drew the, the graph and there was a translation. Then they said, ah, graph and uncle hop, graph and uncle hop. On mobile, you know, as you say, on my team, you know, into a more draw, you know. Instead, they said, on my range, you know, no more pushy, why, very, you know, echo and name a crowd, no more enough, and you are on. On my zoo, and you are wrong, and you are wrong. I'm Bernard Eduku Mua. Alambere District uh, STMEIE coordinator and uh, a, a tutor for STEM radio school. But those around this area, not all of them have access to television. So we were so worried. And by God's grace, when Youth Bridge Foundation came in with their radio school. We were very, very happy about it because since it is a radio, most of them have radios in their various homes and it's going to help them. Initially, I was so, I was not all that sure because presenting something in a radio it was not easy. But later I sat down, planned well with the little resources that I have. And uh, as an examiner, I, I was sure that uh, I'll be able to deliver and guide the student at the same time how to answer the BEC questions. I'm Emmanuel Kofi Odame, uh, the general manager of Western Radio. We had a plan of um, having some education on the radio for uh, our listeners, especially the students. I know. So when Youth Bridge Foundation came in, we felt like, wow, it's a very good initiative, we also, which will also help uh, our listeners and also the students to, you know, uh, upgrade their system of learning as it really help the students and the people around the community of the three districts and beyond in Nzumalan. The STEM Radio School is a corporate social responsibility by Talo Ghana Limited, geared towards mitigating the plight of students in their catchment areas. Fifi Angel is the social performance manager of Talo Ghana Limited. The, the program is supporting students, um, making them, uh, helping them with their um, homework, uh, giving them extra tuition in science, mathematics, English, and supporting STEM. The whole idea is make students a little bit more curious and provide them with extra um, tuition so they can take up courses in STEM at a higher level for their personal development, communal development and also the nation as well. So eventually we are looking that that continues and at the end of the day the momentum that we have built is sustained and students can continue their learning in these difficult times and also pick up um, the the next continuous um successes that they would need for instance you're looking at passing their bc passing their yc exams and those in tertiary as well continuing we never anticipated that this would reach such an extent we've had massive um, support from the education sector from the various education directors from the teachers from parents even from opinion leaders 
Director of Education in Alembele District, Peter Ejable Akakwesen, calls for support to extend it beyond the current scope. Like Oliver, we always ask for more. Um, it's a very good initiative, but you know, it is only for um, BEC candidates, more or less, you know. Uh, and even for BEC candidates, the subjects are limited to only three out of the four core subjects. It's English, mathematics, science. But we still have social uh, studies that is not covered. And we still have other subject areas that are not covered. So that is for BEC. So if we could even extend it to um, cover all the core subjects, we would be grateful. Then that is uh, for basic. What about uh, those who are preparing for um, WASI? So if we could also get the core, at least English, uh, mathematics, science, and so on, uh, that would also be helpful. So going forward, if um, you could, could prepare something like that, and uh, uh, Talu can also uh, take it up, that would be wonderful. The implementing agency, Youth Bridge Foundation, have been explaining the modality of the initiative. Dorothy Abokuma Mensa is the Talo STEM Radio School coordinator with the foundation. Even in some communities, the students still have challenges having access to radio sets. So what we have done is we have contracted the local FM, those with the horns in the community, to pick the feed directly from the radio station or to have recorded uh, sessions being airplayed so that students in and around the community are able to either be in their homes, on their verandas, gather their mango tree, wherever they are, they are able to now hear the lessons and then participate in the classes. Starting this initiative, we had a few challenges and some doubts, but just few days after starting, we realized that the children, the parents, the teachers, everybody was on board. They really embraced the program right from the onset. And so you could see that students sit by the radio set, they listen, they partake. When it's time for the interaction session, which is the phone-in segment, students are able to call in and then to ask questions, to answer questions given by teachers. And then it is really amazing how you will see that students are able to understand the topics that are treated on the radio. We get some feedback from teachers who are also monitoring. Teachers in communities such as IRA, etc. they are really monitoring and encouraging their students to continue um, sitting by the radio and learn. As the country grapples with the aftermath of the virus, key actors in the space continue to remain optimistic of what the future holds for the rural Ghanaian child as concerns about inequality gaps in the sector are exposed and enlarged by COVID-19. Reporting for Joy News, Kenneth Awotridako. Now the machine you see there is called what? Inclined plane. Inclined plane.